Welcome back to JR Eat Unleashed. Today we have Joe Rogan and Derek discuss when anabolic steroids are abused, a range of side effects can happen, from minor drawbacks to dangerous or even fatal ones. They discuss how more serious side effects of anabolic steroid abuse include liver damage, heart disease, and stroke. Steroids can increase the level of bad cholesterol in the blood, leading to a buildup of plaque in the arteries. This can increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. Liver damage can occur when steroids are taken orally as they have to pass through the liver before entering the bloodstream. This can lead to liver tumors, jaundice, and other liver-related diseases. Steroid abuse can also lead to psychiatric side effects including aggression, mood swings, and depression. In some cases, these effects can be so severe that the individual becomes violent or suicidal. For young people who abuse steroids, the effects can be particularly damaging. Steroids can stunt growth and cause premature closure of the growth plates in bones. This can lead to short stature and other physical deformities. Let's get right into the interview with Joe Rogan and Derek. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to be updated on all our future content. Thanks, and enjoy the video. We're like far superior to normal eggs, which, I don't know, like I haven't even looked into the micronutrient like proportions of it to see if that to be true. Well, they're bigger. But he was selling like a duck egg extract product for like 700 bucks or something. And like very much implying that it was supporting his physique duck egg extract why wouldn't you just so, go get duck eggs i yeah, had a I duck know. egg i had a duck egg recently it was terrible it was like they, one of those things where it's like oh you know like even in cosmetics they'll like take a peptide something some obscure name and like extract it and be like oh we put it into this face serum and this thing that came mm. from some natural source it's like the secret for you know eternal youth mm. sort of thing yeah, and it was just like the commercialization of the thing that is not responsible for your physique is like very, very frowned upon. Yeah, that's that should be frowned upon. Yeah, it's very deceptive. You know, I mean, it's one thing if you're actually using those products and you you believe in them and yeah. this is why you're selling them, but when you're just doing it for a money grab and also you're on the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. The, one thing that you've done that's really good, that's really important with your channel, is you've highlighted the horrific negative effects that some people encounter. Yeah. And one of them was this young man. I'd never seen anything like it. This young man that got on steroids and his back. Oh, just exploded. And yeah. all his chest too, right? Like yeah. acne like you couldn't believe. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. So some people, they have genetic predispositions that'll make them like – either hyper respond sometimes in a positive way also in the side effect aspect like usually the role will be if you push the envelope and go into like super physiological dosage territory typically one thing will at least go wrong for you you will probably have some sort of i'm not saying this to be always the case because there are like more responsible ways to go about it to minimize the risk of this happening or potentially avoid it altogether to some extent but like you know hair loss gynecomastia acne etc and this guy he just had brutal acne breakout after and What's the name of the video so we can take a look? You would just type in acne and you see like uh, at least a few examples on my channel. Just go to more plates. This more is dates. the guy's back. Like you can see all the scarring. You can oh. see some of the active ones. But like this is pretty f***ing desolated, dude. This is his back from the top. And this is his face. Oh. oh, his neck and his chest. So pretty, pretty intense, dude. To the point where. Yeah. There's a, there's a few if you just typed in. Yeah, if you just went on the search. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at that guy with his chest bleeding. The guy in the middle there. That's so crazy. It looks like he got attacked by a shotgun. Yeah. Doesn't it? It looks yeah. like he got shot. Like, yeah. there's little holes all over his chest. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's hard to predict, too, because some of these guys will just end up with uh, brutal acne without having a... Like very, <gasps> yeah, that Whoa. guy got desolated. Now, is that like the scarring on his back? Yeah, so that was a unique scenario where a lot of people think his gear was just like, because again, it doesn't just come to your responsive gear. It's also the quality of its preparation. Like if you have toxic carrier oils, uh, like unhealthy solvents, you have like a response to it that is unique from another individual or like it, it depends on the quality of your product and is why pharmaceutical grade is, you know, always going to be preferable as well so oh, that makes sense that makes sense so it's not just a steroid itself yeah it's, yeah, it's, yeah you're getting cheap shit my god he doesn't even look any di different he That's got it's crazy he gets a lot of heat because he shows his aftermath but he used to actually bodybuild pretty intensely and he had to he had a you know a respectable physique in extreme cases anabolic steroid abuse can even be fatal 
For example, some bodybuilders inject steroids directly into their muscles, which can lead to the formation of abscesses or infections. These infections can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. In conclusion, anabolic steroid abuse can have a range of side effects, from minor drawbacks to dangerous or even fatal ones. And is that what he looks like now? He's off everything now. Does he still have f***ed up back, though? It's getting a lot better, but because he took Accutane, he came off the gear, etc. <sighs> he claims his source was like a highly vetted, pure source, so it's tough to say if it was actually just the gear or if it was just like shit gear plus response to the gear or what, but... So now he looks pretty natural. Yeah. And now, is that, does he show any photos of his back now? Uh, yeah, he does. Oh, he still got those scars all over him. Yeah, I, I kind of feel for the guy because he does put out, uh, like, information to try and make people people aware of what happened to him. But now, because he's natural, people will very much take that and be like, why would you even take gear to look like this? And it's like, that's right. not what he looked like when he was on gear. Yeah. Like, he had aspirations to be a competitive bodybuilder and do certain things that, you know, it just wasn't in the cards for him genetically, obviously. But, um, yeah, that was like a wild one. That whole bodybuilding world is so strange because it literally is impossible to compete without steroids. Yeah. It's impossible. There if are... You're, if you're going to be in Mr. Olympia... Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. you got to be on shit. Isn't that wild? Yeah. But there's a whole, like, level... Even things like grappling, like jiu-jitsu, which is one of the dirtiest sports mm. yeah. in, in... I mean, it's certainly the dirtiest combat sport, like yeah. openly dirty. Mm-hmm. Um, there's still people that are clean that yep. do really like the Rotolo brothers are 19 years old. They're, they look completely natural yeah. and they're assassinating people. Yeah. Just natural. There's a lot of natural people. Mikey Musumeci. Yeah. Natural. A lot of them. Tons of them. Yeah. But not in bodybuilding. No. And it's wild because it's like the, the fitness industry you would think is, you know, the epitome of health and fitness is the whole point. Of right. The, so it's just, it's just so paradoxical where you have this like industry built off of, portraying a healthy lifestyle but then you're also doing like the most paradoxical unhealthy thing to your body simultaneously uh, but then somehow the visual cosmetic representation of the unhealthy drug use portrays a more healthy and like vibrant you know vitality look to people it's just like oh this jack guy must be the result of the fitness lifestyle yeah what's the strange thing is like when they're in peak form they're literally on death's door oh yeah their kidneys are like about <laughs> Peter out and they're just like, you know, ready to pass out essentially. Yeah, for people that don't know, when you see a bodybuilder on stage and they're fully shredded and ripped and flexing, they are so dehydrated. Yeah. They're like ready to black out. Yeah, like there's definitely safer ways to do it, but ultimately going down to deathly low body fat levels, cutting water, doing all these things, it's just like there's nothing healthy about it. Like your body no. was never meant to get there. No. Not only that, your body never naturally would keep that amount of mass while you have such low body fat. No, you're like fighting like all, all mechanisms of biology yeah. to like get there. Yeah. Your body is like, what are you doing to me? Isn't it interesting though that that to people represents like the ultimate physique? Yeah, yeah. It's like looking like you're dying. That's I the have, ultimate physique. I have a friend that got so lean he couldn't even walk around because his feet, like the padding on the bottom was essentially gone because he had no fat anywhere. So it was like painful for him to walk and to sit like his ass bones would be like sticking <laughs> out and he couldn't even like sit on a chair without like padding and stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, it gets nuts. Bodybuilding competitions are events where contestants showcase their muscular physiques through a series of poses and routines. While bodybuilding can promote a healthy lifestyle, the competitions themselves can be rife with unhealthy elements. One of the most obvious unhealthy elements of bodybuilding competitions is the intense focus on appearance over health. Contestants often use extreme measures such as crash dieting and dehydration to achieve a certain look. This can lead to malnutrition and dehydration, which can have serious health consequences. Make sure to check out the full episode with Joe Rogan and Derek by heading over to Spotify. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to be updated on all our future content. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.